Hi, I'm Jonathan Brostoff, State Representative for the 19th District, and welcome to my latest edition of What's Up Wednesday. Today, we're going to talk about SB 777, also known as the County Executive Power Extension Act. Now, this is a bill that recently came in front of me, but has already caused a lot of waves. Right when I saw this, there were some pretty big red flags, namely the fundamental way it changes, and by changes I mean destroys, the system of checks and balances we have at county government in Wisconsin. Basically, this bill, if enacted, would allow the county executive to have complete control, complete carte blanche over policies at the county level, and would basically mean the county supervisors, the legislative branch, have basically no control over policies at the county level. And if you're going to completely destroy the system of checks and balances in our democratic system, there better be a really good reason why. Uh, I can't think of what that possibly could be, but certainly it has not been presented with this bill. So we also have to ask ourselves why the bill is being introduced at this very late time. It's right at the end of session, a couple weeks left. This is a huge bill that's been worked on for a very long time, but only now is being allowed to have some public scrutiny. Only now is the public getting to see it. So why is this huge bill that has great implications only now getting in front of legislators like myself? And again, it's incredibly complicated. There's a lot to read through and only now getting in front of the public so that they can weigh in on it. Well, that's kind of the point of the whole bill. It really would restrict the opportunity for the public to weigh in on policy by taking away their voice at the legislative level by taking away the system of checks and balances that we kind of grow up with in civics class in this country. So this is a bill I'm very much opposed to. I don't think that the county executive uh, should have a clause in the bill that says something like whenever there's a conflict between the county executive and the board, the county executive wins. And I really don't think that we should be destroying the fundamental systems of checks and balances in our government. Now is a time where we need people working together, we need to figure out policy, and we have to realize how to move forward, not how to destroy the fundamental system of checks and balances. So I'm opposed to SB 77 if that wasn't clear already, and thank you very much for checking it out. This is Wednesday, that's what's up, and if you have any thoughts on this bill, feel free to reach out to your legislators and let them know what you think about the County Executive Power Extension Bill. Thank you.